Hello everyone. So today I'm doing an unboxing for the Ancestry DNA test kit. And this is the one I ordered here on Amazon. And I got mine on sale for $59. And so it came pretty fast in just a few days in this envelope, which I already opened. And this is the box right here. So I'm going to open it up. And this is what is inside. First, there's this pamphlet. I'll let you pause and read this if you'd like. Okay. There's this little bag here. And this box to mail the results back in. And that's it. So let's see where we need to start. So number one, activate your kit on a mobile phone. Download our app for easy activation or on a computer. And step two, we're going to spit in the tube. Step three, release and shake. And then we wait five seconds and then we mail in the sample. Okay, so first we're going to start with step one to activate the kit. It looks like I have to download the app in the App Store. So let me find this app. All right, so it looks like I'm going to select the app that looks like this picture right here. Because there's other apps. I already have this app, but I'm going to download this one. Install. And I have to complete account set up and I'm going to press skip installing sign up with email continue write my email here next and I'm going to write my first and last name and I'm going to create a password And my password must contain at least eight characters, at least one number, one letter, special character. All right, apparently I already have an account that exists. Um, because I do, maybe it's because I do already have the Ancestry.com app. 
So would you like to sign in using this address? All right, so now I'm logged into the Ancestry DNA uh, app, and I'm going to press Activate Kit. And oh, it looks like I'm going to take a picture of my test tube. Activate your DNA kit. Locate the saliva collection tube inside your DNA kit. Scan the 15 digit code found on the side of the collection tube to begin activating your kit. So let me find the tube. I washed my hands already. And I just got a scan code and it says who is providing the DNA sample and my name is already here so I'm going to press on my name Then I'm going to click next and then it says tell us about yourself birth year so I'm going to enter this information here and I'm a female next and then please review and consent the terms of the DNA testing. So I'm going to check on that, review and consent. Shares all of this. And DNA matching, view DNA match matches. Would you like to see your DNA matches and be listed as a match? Uh, why not? I'll press yes. Sample storage. Storing your sample. Would you like to see your DNA matches and be listed as a match? I'll give consent. and participate in research. I'm just not going to give consent. Do not give. All right, and then here it's having me review and activate, which has my name, my birthday, my sex, and I'm going to press activate kit. Okay, so this DNA kit has been activated and it's time to collect a saliva sample. It's best not to eat, drink, smoke, or chew gum for 30 minutes before providing your sample. And I'll go ahead and do that now. So I guess I'm going to I'm going to press here. Okay. So it's showing me you what to do here. We're going to fill the tube with saliva to the black wavy line which is that wavy line that wavy line right there and that's what the inside of it looks like fill the tube until your saliva not including bubbles or at just above the wavy line it's easy that's less than one fourth of a teaspoon do not overfill all right I'm going to pause it right here all right, so I completed that step. And next. Okay. 
this is nice they're showing you you what to do replace the funnel with the cap so i'm gonna take that off oh i lost my okay so i took that funnel off and now i'm gonna take the cap Remove the funnel. So I'm just gonna put this cap on here. Tighten to replace stabilizer fluid. You will know it works when the blue solution from the cap has emptied into the tube. Okay, mine has not emptied, so let me tighten it more. Okay, just clicked. Oh, there it goes. You can see the blue solution going in there now. And I'm going to press next. Shake the tube for at least five seconds. One. Oh, this is weird though, because there's still some in the top. I don't know. I gave it a couple of extra shakes. This will ensure your sample mixes thoroughly with the stabilizing solution so our lab can best process your sample. Next, place the tube in the collection bag. Oh, that's what this was for. Insert capped tube into bag, seal the collection bag, put bag number into return mailer. Don't forget to activate test line. I don't know what this little paper towel is for. Maybe I should have I don't know. I, I'm just going to leave that in the bag. next mail in your sample place your sample in the prepaid mailing box seal the box with the adhesive strip and mail in it all right so that's all there is to it i put my test in here <laughs> had to squeeze it in there and um if this doesn't fit in my outgoing mailbox, I'm just going to drop it in at the post office. And what I will be waiting on are test results that will look something like this. These aren't my actual test results or someone else's, but just to give you an idea, um, because my sample is in here. I don't have my results yet. But just to give you an idea, um, they'll have a breakdown of your uh, ethnicity and then the percentages over here and these are color coded with a little map up here to show your ethnicity and I won't be publicly sharing my my results I just wanted to show you the process all right everyone and that's all there is to it have a good day everyone